Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship. La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in truth and sincerity. Pardon me, I just um, wanted to uh, light an incense uh, for the lesson. Won't be a long lesson, but um, nevertheless, Lord willing, a lesson of edification through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rachakudash. Now, We've been going to this prophecy, right? Or prophecies. The prophecies are actually jumping off the off the books. Uh you know, the we try to flip to a prophecy, the prophecy beat us to the page. You know, that's that's where that's where we're at right now. With Putin and um Russia, the chief house, may I say, the chief prince, who um which it's beautiful how the apostles of heart went into that. Um, and I believe um, brothers did a lesson on it regarding um, Russia and um, Russia, so on and so forth, coinciding that Russia being chief prince, fulfilling that prophecy. And um, we see the prophecy of um, this man seeking to push his um his enterprise and we see how Yahweh Shah is um he he basically just shut it down. He he shot it he shot it down from the heavens as a matter of fact and and then he hit the Georgia Godstones. The Heavenly Father hit the Georgia Godstones with fire from heaven. It was a see it was a precision it was a it was a precision shot though. And it definitely wasn't an explosion or an earthquake. Nevertheless, I mean, see, we see we see the times getting hard and terrible, and society decaying, and 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 famine, and peril, and uncomfortability, and pilgrims on the earth. And let's jump into a fire. But with all that, brothers, we are about to be, no, we are about to be in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> we are about to be in the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we we prophesy about, you know, Gog and Magog and Revelation 13, but we are about to be in the kingdom of Yahweh by Shai. We're we're about to we're about to be rich forever. We're about to never lose. And that starts now. Because Yahweh Shai himself said, see, he said, um, the kingdom of God cometh not with opposite. Matter of fact, let's get that. Actually, let's um, let's get that. I want to make sure I um, come. Yeah, I, I already know what the scripture this is. So let's get it. Matter of fact. Bam, right here. 
So this is the book of Luke, chapter 17. Verse 21, and it reads, oh, pardon me, Luke chapter 17, verse, verse 20, it says, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, see, you had, see these, the audacity of these guys, it says, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, lo, here, or lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And that right there went over their heads. The kingdom of God is within the elect. It's, you see, the kingdom of God is in character. It's in your, it's in the mind and, and see from the mind, which is the heaven is the scripture says on earth as it is in heaven. And so it's going to be played out with the, when the proper my, remember the word government means mind control and it's going to play out in full fruition when the, when the mind of the elect governs or may I say, um, 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 has dominion over the mentality of the planet Earth, but it starts. It starts with with you. It starts with the mind, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And that term observation, see. It's because you have to consider the fact that the kingdom of God is about faith. And faith is the evidence of the thing not, that is not seen and all that is hoped for. So it's not about your observation. And see, if you were observing correctly through faith, you would see it right before your eyes. Nevertheless, the point is in verse 22. It says, and he said unto the disciples, the, <clears throat> well, well, the point was furthermore in verse 21, but I do want to read verse 22. It says, the days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, see here or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. Verse 24. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of, pardon me, out of the one part un, under heaven, shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. So you're not going to find Yahweh Shah kicking it in the cave. You know, you're not going to find them in Arabia in 700 AD or in Medina. No, no, uh, -uh that ain't him. That he ain't that guy. I, I, he was somebody to somebody, but he, he wasn't that guy, though. Hey, he wasn't the guy who inspired the Hadith and all that. Nope. That, that was somebody to somebody, but they, that guy wasn't that. <clears throat> yeah, so the Messiah, he's going to come with the chariots. And our salvation is, is very near. He's going to come with the fathership. And the time appointed. And the, we're at the end in the speaking. And it's not lying either. So Yahweh Shah at his return is gonna be it's gonna be quick. It's like 
one minute is going to be Esau trying to do something cute to maintain his kingdom of maintaining his kingdom. Next minute is going to be Revelations, the sixth chapter, where he's going to be hiding himself in the dens of the rocks, begging on the rocks in his bunkers to please follow him, to hide him, hide him from the wrath of the lamb. It's going to be that quick. It's going to be that quick. All right. So let's go back to... Um, <clears throat> Let's go back to the book of Psalms. <sighs> Pardon me. And we were at the 62nd chapter, if I'm not mistaken. So this is this is the book of Psalms, chapter 62. Let's start at verse 1. Because this lesson is about us essentially about to enter into this kingdom. We are about to enter, and oh my goodness. Now, you see, I was reading this chapter, and I was like, yo, this is some delightful stuff. But I really want to... There's so many scriptures that we that, that can actually be attached to this, but I mean, that's, I'll, I'll be here all night. So I I'll do what the the spirit allows or permits. It says, "Um, truly, my soul waiteth upon God; from Him cometh my salvation." He only is my rock and my salvation. See, only Yahweh, not any other power. It says, he is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Now, see, if the elites and if the Georgia Godstone, if their defense was God, then maybe they would have, maybe they wouldn't have been moved. Maybe their pillar in which they established, maybe it would have not been moved. Or, or or maybe the Egyptians are man, and maybe they just not, maybe they not God, because you're not God. And Isaiah spoke of that. Because if they were God, then the pillar would not have been moved, and greatly moved at that. Verse three, how long in the in and in the exact proximity of time when you were seeking an answer from the constellations with the CERN machine and you wanted an answer and you got it from the heavens. And they about to lose and we about to win and it's going to be quick. Quicker than we even really believe. How long will ye, this is verse three, by the way. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you. This is the Lord talking to you heathens. It says, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. And it's going to, and you, and see, you're going to be, you're going to have a reminiscence to the walls of Jericho on the, I believe it was the eighth day. It could, it could have been the seventh, but it, nevertheless, it failed and it failed and it failed bad. And the inhabitants, they went down bad. Verse four, it says... They only, hey, I want to make me want to get the walls of Jericho now, man. I actually just read that. Hold up. Let me see. I'm not just, I'm just reading that. It's in Joshua. Uh, 
believe this in Joshua. I might have been. Yeah, it's in Joshua. Uh, let's see here. Like I said, see, I don't want this to be long because this really was something I was like, yo, this is a beautiful chapter I'm reading. I wanted to put this on rap. So I, had, I was desiring a proper lesson. But anyway, I do have Jericho right here. So let's see here. Let's just, let's just might as well just go to it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's do it. Because we got to work while it's day. It's pretty soon the night's going to come when no man can work. Let's go to, um, where should we go? What part? Let's see. Um, Okay, yeah, let's do, all right. So, chapter six, and we're gonna do verse, um, give me one second. <clears throat> we're gonna do chapter six, and um, we're gonna start at verse We can start. We can start at verse verse twenty. I mean, the whole chapter is good. We can start at verse twenty for time's sake. I'm gonna be here all night. Let's see here. It says Joshua chapter six verse twenty. It says so. The people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. See? So that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him. And they took the city and they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young, old, ox and sheep. And as with the edge of the sword. You see? And that's and that's what these guys are about to have to deal with. They're about to have to go through that. Because the people he, he, the script said that people shall be willing to dare thy power. Yeah, you can politicalize what you want, Esau, but at the end of the day when we get them powers it ain't nothing else for you. It's nothing else for nobody to say, but you're going to have to, you're just going to have to see, uh, we're we just going to have to see whose God is real in that hour. You saw, you got your God, your God couldn't even keep the Georgia God stone up. We got our God, and our God is the one who shot, shot the um Georgia God stone down from the heavens. So we're going to see which God win. That's what it's going to come down to. The talk, we're doing the talking now. And then you speaking as, you going to speak as a dragon, which you're doing. But at the end of the day, talking is, nah, uh-uh. We, we about to take, the scripture says the saints should take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. Say he that leadeth into captivity should go into captivity. Here's the patience in the faith of the saints. <clears throat> you know? We're going to continue on in, in the book of Psalms. It says, they, it says, as a tottering fence, as a tottering fence. All right, so that's that's Esau's enterprise, a tottering fence. Um, verse 4, it says, <clears throat> They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. That's what these guys do. They delight in lies. They're liars. They're hypocrites. 
They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Salah. My soul, wait thou only upon God. For my expectation is from him. Now watch this. It says, he only is my rock. So not Esau and you know, his devices. And not our own strength. But Yahweh, essentially, Yahweh by Shai. Now watch this. That's the rock. You know? It says, in my salvation. He is my, it says, he is my defense. I shall not be moved. I'm not going to be moved like the Georgia Godstone pillar got moved. Yeah, we talking it because y'all about to go down. And we got an unction to, to speak these words. And when you move, he move, and we move. So we're just going to have to see who God is real. Now it's time to see Esau. Let's see if your God is real. Verse 7. It says, And God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength. Tells a warrior, you know, my strength. And my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times. So always trust in Yahweh Hashem Yashat, even during the hour of temptation. Which that's gonna be that that time when they implement forcibly mandate. The MO, you know, MOTB. And that's coming, that's coming soon. Sooner than what we think. Because all these prophecies are, these prophecies are not planned. The Belarus has just said that Russia and Belarus are, their kinsmanship and the fraternity, the fraternity of Russia and Belarus is to a stature of, um, Essentially, uh, uh, of of one unified nation. What is that? That's the Soviet Union coming back. That's weak saying I'm strong. That's Gog and Magog being brought back with a hook. That's prophecy. And we are seeing it happen right before our eyes. Now, I did not know that they were actually going to say something. I was like, did they really just say that? Yeah, they did say that. Because Russia don't got no reason to play that Russian Federation crap anymore because they going head to head with America. They were just playing they were being political with that garbage. Them Putin is a Putin and them Russian hierarchy, those are Soviets. Their mama was a Soviet, their daddy was a Soviet. Oh, those are real deal. So those those guys are Soviets. They don't give a damn about this bull crap that these Western People talking about this weird crap that they talking about. And they hate the West. And Russia and the Soviets are going to lose. And they're going to lose bad, too. And they're going to lose to your house. And they're not, they're not going to lose to the West. Because the West going to lose to Russia. In this World War Three, but Russia gonna lose to the Son of God. I feel that that has been sufficient. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to you. How about you? How about you? How about you? The bond to the elders and positive great meal song. Excitation to you, Akim. Shalom. Keep the faith.